Personal story segment tonight. Things remain status quo in Wisconsin as Democratic senators have not returned to the state and Governor Scott Walker cannot force a vote on state unions and their bargaining power. Walker's give back and bargaining bill has already passed the Wisconsin Assembly where a Democratic Assemblyman allegedly told a Republican Assemblywoman, quote, you are effing dead, unquote. So he's now from Wisconsin. Is the Republican <coughs> Assemblywoman involved? Michelle Lichens. So how did that thre threat come about? How, how did that happen? Well, we had been on the floor for about 57 or 58 hours straight, mind you, and uh, we had just taken a procedural vote. The Democrats all started screaming and yelling at the moment, and uh, I sit in the back row behind all of the Democrats, and uh, Gordon Hintz was walking back and just happened to walk and look at me and point direct me at, at me and say exactly what you said. Okay, so why would he bother doing that? I mean, he knew, Mr. Hins knew that they were going to lose. Uh, why would right. he bother singling you out? Do you know him? Do you have any bad feelings with him? Or does he no, hate you? No, no. Uh, actually, we've had a very good working relationship over the years. So why I'm would he, brand why new. Would he I'm do a that? freshman. I think he had been on the floor for a very long right, time. So he's tired and frustrated. And they were very frustrated. What yeah, did you we say? were all tired. When he said that, oh, what did I, you say? I said nothing. I uh, I sat there and I actually, I'm almost embarrassed. I kind of cowered. But um, that's very intimidating. And at the same time, we had drums banging outside the door. Uh, we had protesters chanting and screaming outside in the hallway at that time. So uh, it. it it, it was frightening uh, sitting in that room. It was a little bit scary. Yeah, I mean, so, effing and dead actually, and from a guy who's uh, yeah. obviously out of control. Now, he called you hence, when this broke and apologized, he did. correct? Did he, he what did. He, what did he after say it made it out. After it made it out into uh, the media, I did not share this with the media at all. Um, others who had heard it had shared that, and it's kind of, you know, gone all over after that. But what did Hintz say to you on the phone? Me. He, he apologized, and I believe he was very sincere in his apology. Did he explain um, why he I, said it? Uh, he was exhausted, and uh, they were angry. Uh, and again, there's a lot of passion uh, in this debate. I, I know, that's but going it's a phraseology right that bothers me. I mean, he can call you a pinhead, or he can call you this, but right. you know, f and dead. Right. I mean, that seems all right, beyond the pale. Now we had another incident. Right. Uh, we have another incident to report. This guy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Grothman, Senator Glenn Grothman. Senator Glenn Grothman. You know him? Yes. <laughs> he's trying to get into we the Capitol. We watched the YouTube video. Yeah, he's trying to get into the Capitol, Grothman, mm -hmm. and then the demonstrators get, uh, get around him. And now this is truly frightening. I mean, I'm sure yours was yes, too. Yes, it is. But now yeah. the guy is yeah. surrounded and these people are in his face and screaming and yelling. I mean, how are you processing all this, Assemblywoman? Uh, we need this to end very quickly. We need our senators to come back to Wisconsin and do their job and just show up in the chamber so we can take a vote on this bill and just finish this. Um, it is, what happened to Senator Grothman is scary. And yeah, uh, the protesters absolutely. that are still at the Capitol, well, the protesters that are still there are really quite animated now. And um, I, I, Well, it's the hardcore I, I, we that's there. These are, are the professional to. people. Um, you know, right. the, the, just the casual people have gone, but these are the pros. Mm -hmm. Now, do you hear anything? Uh, because the senators, the Democratic senators from Wisconsin are still in Illinois. Do you hear anything right. that they may come back or this thing may have a resolution? Uh, not that I'm aware of. We know that the Senate Majority Leader has been meeting with them down by the state line because some of them want to come home very badly. There are a few recalls that have been started in Wisconsin with a few senators that really should be concerned about uh, losing their job over not coming back to Wisconsin so we can take a vote on this. Okay, but the this vote is pretty happen. much everybody knows what's going to happen if the senators come back. Exactly. Uh, Governor Walker's going to exactly. win and, and the, the union's going to be severely limited. So. I don't know what the end game is. Is there is there possible compromise? Could something be done? Well, the unfortunate part is that our state is broke. Our state is no, broke. I know. Everybody no knows money. what the issue but, is. It's just right. a matter of can but, you but, find a way to get these people back past what Walker wants with maybe a little bit of a concession to the other side. Is that possible? Uh, I think it, the, the bill has to stay intact the way that it is, and I'll tell you why. Because if we don't give some flexibility to our local governments and our schools to continue providing their services with less money, our property taxes are going to go up at least a thousand dollars a household. And I and I think everybody understands the, the, the but could couldn't it be we have a five-year moratorium and this is what happens for five years and we revisited it five years down the road? Isn't that something that might happen? If 
if we give in right now to the thuggery happening in Wisconsin, we will have to give in every time. All so right. unfortunately, I don't so think you don't that's see an option. Right. Okay, Ms. Lishan, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Directly ahead, President.